Good. Sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pavana Sapakne. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath coming in, watch it going out. If it's comfortable, keep it up that way. If it's not, you can change the way you breathe. Try to give all your attention to the breath. As for anything else, you can just put it aside. This is an important principle in the practice, is realizing you can't straighten out the entire world, so you tra straighten out the parts that you can straighten out. And as for the things you can't straighten out, you've just got to let them go. That's what the teaching on equanimity is all about. It's based on the wisdom of seeing that if you're going to have a good impact on your life, you've got to focus your energies where they're going to have the best result, because your energy is not infinite. We all have limited stores of energy. And as in any case, when you have a limitation like that, you have to figure out what's the best way of investing, and you just have to leave everything else alone. Equanimity doesn't mean that you're totally you know, don't care about what's happening. You care very much about what's happening, but you care very much about what you can do. Because this is the one power we have in life, it's the thoughts, words, and deeds that we have. And you want to make sure that they're invested in a place where they really do give results. As for things that are not your business or that, are not, that you can't change, okay, you just have to let them go, no matter how much you might want to change them, no matter how wrong they may seem. You realize that you can't stay, as the, as the Thai is saying, hold up the sky. You've got to focus your energy. We have goodwill for everybody, but there are times when we have to just let things go. Somebody's misbehaving and you try to stop them, but they don't want to let you stop them. Well, you have to let that go. Focus on areas where you can make a difference. Otherwise, your energy gets wasted and the places where you could have made a difference just don't get changed. So you have to learn how to be selective and use your discernment as you develop equanimity. As the Buddha said, there are some places where equanimity is a skillful approach to have and other places where it's not. Some of the causes of suffering in your mind, all you have to do is just watch them for a bit and they'll go away. You don't have to put in a lot of energy. Other cases, you have to put in the energy to argue with them, to fight them, to make sure that you don't give in to the unskillful qualities of the mind. Since you need to use energy, you've got to be very careful in how you use it and how you keep it going. Because you don't want to use it all up and then be left with nothing. You've got to learn how to keep the energy going in the practice day after day. And as for the things you can't change, the things that lie beyond you, that's, that's other people's karma. Or maybe your past karma is something you cannot do anything about right now. You just have to live with it. But either way, the, the, the wise thing to do is to focus on what you can change, where you can be in control. Because there's so many things in life that are out of your control. And eventually even your body's going to get out of your control. But, but while you have the chance to use it, use it for a good purpose. Use it to be generous. Use it to be virtuous. Use it to meditate. This way you get the good out of the body that you have, the good out of your power of speech and the power of thought. So that when they leave you, okay, you're not going to be left with nothing. You'll be left with the results of your good actions. So develop equanimity in areas where you cannot make a difference so that you really can make a difference in the areas that really count. Because as the Buddha said, you know, the suffering that we really suffer from, that's not caused by other things outside. It's caused by our own mind, our own actions, our own ways of thinking. And that's something you can do something about. So focus your energy there. And as for the other things, let the world be. You're going to benefit, and the people around you will benefit as well. <laughs>